The wind is honking as the sun comes up over Tybee Island. Tough going for a drone. Because it has to fight the wind. Claudia Venherm is a research technician at the UGA Skidaway Institute of Oceanography. She's still going to fly her drone because the tide is low, the beach stretching out wide to the breakers. And that's perfect for her research. I fly it. Uh at low tide to get as much of the beach as possible. The drone is equipped with LIDAR. A laser points down at the sand to measure the elevation. That allows Venherm and her team to get a detailed 3D image of the beach and dunes. And it's high accuracy, it's uh, um, yeah. high resolution. I see every flip-flop on the beach. She's been taking these measurements every three months and after every major storm since 2020, so she can calculate the actual volume of sand and how much it's changed over time. I can also uh, compute how long it will take until you know, the beach is completely gone or how long it will take until um, the water reaches the dune system. Every few years, the Army Corps of Engineers dredges up sand from the ocean to put on the always eroding beach. This research could make a big difference. We know exactly where the hot spots of erosion are. Alan Robertson leads resilience projects for the island. Never had that before. He hopes that with all this data, Tybee's next round of beach nourishing and dune building can last longer and better protect the island from extreme storms and rising seas. Emily Jones, WABE News, Tybee Island.